So this Cybos is very exciting. I, I've been talking to a lot of banks. Uh, my agenda as a CIO of SmartStream is innovations. So I've been talking to banks about what they're doing in the space of machine learning and AI. And we can see this year that the first banks come up with real world scenarios. So it's uh, the, the theoretical things are coming into production now, which is very exciting. So today we are announcing SmartStream Air. SmartStream Air stands for AI reconciliation. It's a new reconciliation product in the cloud that will use machine learning and AI technology to um, reconcile any structured data. It's very quick, so our customers can use it to track in any data feeds, Excel, XML, Swift files, it will understand the structure, will automatically come up with a reconciliation uh, result and will show it to the customers. And it's a complete new way of doing reconciliation. So the latest news is that we use AI and reconciliation in all our products. So we have now a stable framework for, uh, for our reconciliation products, for our cash and liquidity products. So our existing customers, they can easily, by just upgrading their system, they can use our new machine learning technology. It will increase their performance and make the systems faster and more stable. In the next year, I think we can expect that there will be even more machine learning use cases. Uh, projects are just starting. Uh, so I think banks understand that there's so much data that they can use to make their products better. Um, I also expect a lot of unstructured data to be uh, processed. In banks there are still a lot of emails, uh, PDF documents, scans, and we're just starting to approach that area. We have uh, fees and invoices as one of our products in SmartStream, and we're using machine learning and AI to better and faster process invoices and I think that is something we will expect in the next uh, one or two years. That's a good question. So um, the, the topics in the financial world is quality of data. Uh, banks and financial institutions they have so many sources of data and it gets so um, they get it in so many different formats that that is a big problem and they have to solve that issue before they can take the next step of processing it more efficiently um, like machine learning and AI. We, we provide tools to uh, increase the quality but in some instances they really have to work to increase their data uh, quality a lot before we can use our efficient tools to, to uh, even further optimize.